Hello everyone, let's start with question number 2. It says the product of two consecutive positive integers is divisible by 2. Is this statement true or false? Give reason for same. So in this case, the answer will be yes. Now why yes? Because the product of two consecutive numbers. So let us take two consecutive numbers that is n and n plus 1. Their product must be divisible by 2. So we have n into n plus 1 so it will be n square plus n so now in this case we can put any number if we will put even minus 1 it will result into a positive number so let us see positive number and it will be divisible by 2 any number will be divisible by this so if i take n as 1 so if my n is 1 so it will be 1 square plus 1 that will be 2 this is 2 is divisible by 2 now if i take n equals to 2 it will be 2 square plus 2 equals 4 plus 2 is 6 now again 6 is divisible by 2 so let us take any negative number here so if i take minus 1 minus 1 square plus minus 1 so minus 1 square is 1 and 1 minus 1 is 0 0 is divisible by 2 you can take any number you want to and the resultant will be divisible by 2. So that's your answer for question number 2. Now moving on to question number 3. It says the product of 3 consecutive positive integers is divisible by 6. Is this st statement true or false? Justify your answer. So we need to justify our answer. And in this case we are given with the product of three consecutive integers so n n plus 1 n plus 2 so in this case we need to prove that it is whether it is divisible by 6 or not so in this case out of these three consecutive integers one will be even why even because if you add any number if you add any number to this like Let's multiply these three numbers and let us see what will be the product for this. So it will be n square plus n then times it with n plus 2. So n square with n it will be n cube n square with 2n then n with n n square plus 2n. This will be 2n square sorry so it will be n cube plus 3n square plus 2n now let us take any number and find out whether it will be divisible with 6 or not so in this case i will be putting the value of 1 first so 1 cube 1 plus 3 into 1 square is 3 then again 2 into 1 2 so the resultant is 6 which is divisible by 6. Now I will be taking 2 here. So it will be 2 cube. That will be 8. 8 plus 3 into 2 square. 2 square is 4. 4 into 3 is 12. 12 plus 2 into 2 is 4. So 12 plus 8 is 20. 24. So 24 is again divisible with 6. So yes, the statement is true. And that's how you need to justify your answer. So that's all for question number 2 and question number 3. Thank you for watching this video.